In this presentation, we look at how to compute the determinant and inverse of a matrix. So first off, I have here a 3x3 three three matrix, which is called A. So we have three rows and three columns. So to find the determinant of A, I use the command det, which is short for determinant, and all I have to do is specify the name of the matrix, which is, of course, A. So the determinant of A is minus 48. To find the inverse of A, I use the command solve. Now solve is actually also used in solving systems of linear equations, which is um, quite a common type of calculation that would take place in linear algebra classes, but we'll actually use it here to compute the inverse of A. So I'm going to enter that. There we have it there. We have really small numbers, but there we have the inverse of A. Now I'm going to do something very similar with a different matrix. So I have a second matrix here called B. Now nothing out of the ordinary with B. It looks, it's a tree by tree matrix with um, uh, in, uh, common integers. First off, I'm going to look, compute the determinant of B. Now, what we have here, minus 3.55 by 10 to the minus 16. The fact is that the determinant of B is actually zero. So, determinant of B is, I'm going to make this a comment actually, is zero. Um, so what would that? What implication does that have on f computing the inverse of B? Well, we're actually not going to be able to do it. We're going to get an error message here. I'm just, just going to scroll up. So error in solve default B. It's system is computationally singular, singular, which is to say the inverse of B does not exist. Because if you recall, if the determinant of a matrix is zero, that means that no inverse of that matrix exists.